Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a review and tutorial for y'all today on the Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale. This is from BH Cosmetics. So I have the Beach Goddess palette as well as the Enhancing Lip Gloss in Tan Lines. So I'm going to be doing like a little review on these products. I'll run through swatches, just kind of give you my thoughts and opinions on them. Then I'm going to show you um, a little mini tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. And I'm also doing this as a collab with my best friend Ashley, Texas Mommy of Boys. If you've been with me for a while, you know who Ashley is because I talk about her all the time. We're always in Instagram pictures together. So you probably know who she is, but if you're new to my channel, you definitely need to go check her out. She is just the sweetest person. Person. She's one of my very favorite people in the whole world because she is so sweet, so genuine, so funny. She always makes me laugh. She knows her stuff about makeup. She's talented with makeup. You're going to love her. So I'm going to link her channel and her video down below. She's also going to be doing like a little review and look with this collection. And I think we have the exact same products, which is so funny. This happens a lot with us where we end up buying the same thing without even realizing it or saying the th same thing or eating the same thing. It's just kind of random. But anyway, we both have these products, so I'm gonna be, we're both going to be doing very similar videos where we're doing a little review and a look using these products. So you'll get to see two different looks and hear two, two different opinions on this collection. So yeah, I'm going to link everything down below for you and let's get to my review. So for pricing and packaging, the 12 color eye and cheek collection was $18. This is what the outside packaging looks like. Really pretty. I love this box. I think it's beautiful. This is like, you know, cardboard. It's not fancy at all. It looks cute. It's really cute, but it's very cardboardy and not fancy at all. And it's a lot smaller than I was expecting. And it has the little like, you know, sheet over the shadows. You have to kind of like move that out of the way. So it's not actually printed on the palette. So it's pretty cheap packaging. I mean, there's nothing really special going on here as far as packaging goes, but you know, I know that that kind of takes down the price a little bit, which does help. But I think $18 is kind of high for this. Like that's instantly what I thought when I got it, especially BH Cosmetics, because so many of their prices are around like $12 to $15. $18 just seemed a little bit higher and it's smaller than I was expecting. So that's kind of a bummer. So I think that this is a little bit higher priced than it needs to be, but that's just my personal opinion, but I do love the packaging. And then the gloss, this was $9. This is what the outside box looks like on this one. Really pretty and it's nice. It reminds me of like Dose of Colors, like the actual, you know, tube of gloss reminds me of Dose of Colors sort of products. So I think that's nice. This feels sturdier. $9, I think that's high. That's like a higher priced, higher, higher priced drugstore gloss. You know what I mean? Like some glosses are around $9 um, in the drugstore. Did I say that? Drugstore gloss in the drugstore? I don't know what I said, but some of them are around $9 in the drugstore. Whereas I feel like for a BH Cosmetics gloss, I've, I've always loved their low prices. So I would say like five to seven is what I would hope for as far as pricing. So I think this stuff is a little bit high priced, but cute packaging. And starting with the top row of the palette, the top left side, this is the bronzer. This is Chez Salish. Say Chalice, I don't know. Saint Bart's, Maui, Fiji. That really doesn't show up hardly at all. It's really close to my skin tone color though, um, but it's also not very pigmented. This one is Belize, and this one is Barbados. Bottom row, this is Tahiti, Aruba. This is the highlight in St. Lucia. That is beautiful. Cabo, that's a nice kind of matte creamy shade. Bora Bora. This one is super powdery, lots of fallout, very chunky. A lot of these have fallout and a lot of them are powdery. Most of them are, especially the kind of shimmery um, metallic shades. So they really do kick up a lot of product, but that one is definitely one of the worst, but it's a really pretty color. This one is the blush in Bermuda. And then down here we have the gloss in tan lines. So you can see them all swatched there. As far as the formula goes on these products, for the eye and cheek palette, I think it's just kind of okay. Now, I do really like the face products in there, like the uh, bronzer, highlight, and blush. I really like those. Those work well. Um, I think the matte eyeshadows are pretty good, but the shimmery metallic shades are just so chunky, and they just cause a lot of fallout in the pan. There's a lot of kick up. On your face, there's a lot of fallout, and it just, they're not like, 
a great experience to work with. You know what I mean? They work, you can make them work, but they're just not like super duper amazing. Now, if this was a $10 palette, I'd probably be like, hey, I mean, yeah, that's really nice. But for 18, I don't know. Something about that makes me like expect more from it. So formula on this, especially those shimmery metallic shadows, I think are just kind of okay. They did wear well throughout the day. I didn't really notice a problem with that, but I do always wear a primer. Um, the gloss, really not a fan of this gloss. Like, I don't know if it's this color, but it's kind of like collecting, like it's making my lips look very dry and it's kind of collecting in the dry patches, the fine lines or whatever. It's making my lips not look so great. So it may just be the color because it's sort of a lighter sort of a pink, but it may be the gloss as well. This is the only color that I have, so I'm not really sure, but I think the gloss is just okay. Again, if it were like a $4 gloss, I'd be like, hey, it's pretty good, but for $9, I would expect more from it. So that's my little mini review. So now let's get to the mini tutorial. Okay, so I've already applied some eye primer. So now I'm gonna take my L'Oreal eyeshadow. This is in Seashell, and I'm just gonna get some of that on a tapered blending E40 brush from Sigma and just kind of like dust that over my lids, just sort of as a base and, you know, canceling out any redness or anything. So yeah. I'm gonna take a Sephora pencil. This is the Jumbo Liner 24 Hour Wear Waterproof, and this is in gold. And I'm going to apply this on my lids as a base. Okay, now I'm gonna take a combo of this shade right here and the bronzer, and I'm gonna use these as my transition shades or transition shade when they become one. And I'm using my Sedona Lace EB15 brush for that, and I'm just applying that into my crease and transition area. Those birds outside are going crazy. I don't know if you can hear them, but they're going nuts. <laughs> I hope you can hear them. I get this kind of bronzy gold color on a wet n wild concealer brush and I'm going to tap that off and then apply that to kind of like pretty much the inner half of my lids. I'm going to get some of this shade right here, this kind of like warm, warm kind of cranberry bronzy shade. It's really pretty. I'm going to apply that into my outer corner and blend that just a little bit into my crease. Then I'm going to get a little bit of a very darkest shade in the palette and I'm using a um, Beauty 360 brush to do this. It's like a tiny little crease brush. And I'm just applying this right into my outer corner. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit more of that cream shade as my brow bone highlight. And I'm just using a Pure Minerals eyeshadow brush. Now I'm gonna apply some liner and mascara. I'm using my Sephora. This is one of their eye pencils in tiramisu. And then I'm using my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and also my Clinique Bottom Lash. And then before I do my bottom mascara, I'm gonna take a little bit of this one and this one and line my lower lash line. The gold on the inner half and the kind of bronzier shade, coppery shade, burgundy shade, whatever you would call that, on the outer half. Now I'm gonna warm up my face and my neck with the bronzer in the palette, and I'm using a Sedona Lace FB05 brush and my Delium Tools 992. And I'm gonna 
apply some of the blush with my Bobbi Brown blush brush. And then finally the highlighter, I'm gonna get some of that on a Sedona Lace 313 brush and apply that onto my cheekbones. Then for lips, I'm gonna use my Jordana Easy Liner for lips in Tawny. I'm gonna line and then kind of bring this in a little bit. And then I'm gonna use my Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale Enhancing Lip Gloss in Tan Lines. guys so that wraps up this review and little mini tutorial so i hope that you really enjoyed this video and i hope it was helpful for you please give it a thumbs up if it was let me know down below what you think about this collection if you picked up anything from it what do you think about it what are some of your favorite products don't forget to go check out ashley's video i know that you're going to love her and she's going to have some great thoughts for us i'm going to list that down below ask me any questions that you have i'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you in the next video bye